Autism Speaks is the world's leading autism science and advocacy organization. The group is at the forefront, helping us better understand autism spectrum disorders. Man heading up medical research there is Paul Wong, Senior Vice President for Autism Speaks, and he joins us live now via Skype from New Haven, Connecticut. Paul, talk to us about genetics and autism, if you will. A lot of research uh, in the last few years has been focused on understanding the genetics behind autism, trying to understand what genes are affected, uh, what genes important in brain function have been disturbed and, and result in cases of autism. There, there's more and more progress in this area. And we're finding that a lot of the genes that, that uh, where mutations occur that are associated with autism seem to be important for the communication between brain cells. So we just heard a little bit uh, from Dr. Temple Grandin talking about uh, the paths in, in her brain, how they're different uh, from, from the, the patterns that they have in typical brains. That, that's what we believe is behind many cases of autism. How does that help us moving forward, would you say? It's, it's uh, still a promissory note at this point, but by knowing the genes that are affected and the exact cellular functions that are disturbed in autism, that gives us clues on what kind of treatments uh, might work best. Uh, we're looking at both behavioral and educational kinds of treatments and pharmacological drug treatments also. Uh, and again, it's, it's knowing the genes that are affected, the proteins that those genes produce that give us hints on what kind of drugs might be helpful and what kind of other therapies might be helpful. Uh, Paul, talk to us about early identification and diagnosis. How important is that? That's absolutely critical. The earlier we can diagnose somebody with autism, the earlier we can get those critical educational and, and other therapeutic efforts in place. Again, we, we heard from Dr. Grandin how her mother's early efforts were so important. It really is critical to, to start addressing those deficits as early as possible when they are still relatively small uh, before those deficits become even greater and even harder to treat. And she mentioned the, uh, the early treatment, intervention, how parents need to get involved. Can you talk more about that? Ab absolutely. It, it takes a team. Uh, it's not just the parents, uh, but the special educators as well, speech therapists, occupational therapists, uh, other physical therapists. Physicians, too, sometimes have a role. Uh, with pharmacologic treatment, but really what you're looking at is a combination of therapies that are going to address the communication deficits, really helping the child learn how to understand speech that's directed to them and also how to express themselves through language, uh, and then also working with them on the social skills, uh, because people with autism, again, as you heard from Dr. Grandin, can be very awkward sometimes. They don't know how to relate to other people, so they need to be taught that in ways that typically developing children can learn on their own. Uh, Temple Grandin also uh, once wrote, I love this quote, uh, if by some magic autism has been eradicated from the face of the earth, then man would still be socializing in front of a wood fire at the entrance to a stone cave. Kind of making the point, I think her point is that we don't often think about the potential for positive outcomes in adults, but there are a number of them. And she points out, you know, this is why we have the Silicon Valley and some of these things where people may be socially awkward, but they do these phenomenal things. There, there's no question. There, there are many people with autism uh, who are very high functioning and who've contributed in remarkable ways uh, to, to the advance of, uh, of civilization broadly, probably. Um, one characteristic that people with autism seem to have is the ability to, to think very deeply, to concentrate in very narrow and focused ways. Uh, and, and that can be a very productive way to be thinking. Paul Wong, thanks so much for your insights this evening. Pleasure.